If you need yet another reason to put up an HF vertical antenna, in this video, I'm gonna give it to you. You're on a portable antenna house, how so strong, over. Welcome back to the channel, my name's Kevin, K7SW, and today I'm gonna to talk about the vertical antenna. That you might be in a compromised place, like an HOA or somewhere where they are not antenna friendly. And this is just another one that might help you, convince you that you can make one and do this for yourself. I'm using an adapter for the vertical antenna, which I'll be making a video review pretty soon on. There are a bunch of different ways to hook up a 17 foot whip or a 17 foot piece of wire up in the air. So I'm gonna show you the parts I used in this project to get myself on the air. Now this tripod's very heavy. It's not your normal, typical tripod. It's not something you're gonna go backpacking or camping with, but it is an excellent tripod for portable use. I picked this up used, so it was cheap for me at six bucks. The point is this thing's heavy duty. If you have access to getting a tripod or you can create or build a tripod that's heavy duty, you're not gonna have to guy this thing because a 17 foot whip up in the wind could be a tip over challenge. Because I'm using this in its vertical configuration and it's got a quarter 20 thread on the bottom here which makes it easy for me to attach to my tripod. So the radials are four wires of 18 gauge and they're 16 and a half feet. The ends of the radials that connect to the ground part of the mast itself, I used ring terminals that will fit 10 to 12 gauge wire. And that way two of these wires can fit into each one of them and then I just crimp them down. And to keep general rain and other water from getting down into the wire itself, I just soldered the connection so that it would be better. And for the other end of the radial that goes to the ground, I made a loop at the end, probably about two or three inches and used a crimp connector to put that on and gave that a squeeze and that keeps it in place. And that little loop at the end keeps the ground radial off the ground in the air, even though it's a couple inches and attached to that ground stake. And with the connector in place on one end of the radial and the loop made on the other, stretching the radial to end to end, 16 and a half feet is the overall distance that you want. Now for this mount that I'm putting on to this tripod, what you want to keep in mind is make sure that this is a stable mount, something that can handle the torque and the weight of the 17 foot whip when it's up in the air, when there's wind load on it. I'm using the quarter inch 20 to mount it to the top of this thing. Now I'm assuming you're watching this video because you've never done a 20 meter vertical before or, or you just want to try one because you're curious. And so that's why I'm going by these step by steps. Now that the bracket's in place, we're gonna put on the ground radials. And then after that, we'll put on the 17 foot whip as our vertical radiating element. When you're locking down your radials and putting them in place, you wanna keep in mind where you're gonna be putting these. So let's say this one is going this direction. The other side of this is gonna go 90 degrees from this one. From this side of the wire, this one's gonna go out to match this one. And these two are gonna match themselves going out this way. So in the end, you're gonna have a cross that goes out like that, with this being the center point or the antenna itself. If you haven't done this very often, one thing to keep in mind when you're putting that uh, whip on there, that thing's gonna to wanna to whip around, right? It's gonna to wanna to wiggle around in the air. So when you're screwing this down, if you have one hand farther away, higher up on the mast or up on the uh, antenna, and one down where you're screwing it, and take your time and slowly thread that antenna onto your whatever mast or tripod that you're hooking onto. In most of your installations, you're gonna have this 3 8 inch thread, and that's what you're gonna be screwing it to. And in this case, we're screwing it to this nut that's right here on the mast. All right, now I've shown you what you need, the parts you need, so I wanna recap this. We're gonna need four ground radials of whatever wire you can get your hands on, 16 and a half feet long for each one. You're gonna need a whip or another 16 or 17 foot uh, piece of wire uh, for the radiating element and a tripod and maybe some ground stakes to hold your radials. In my setup, I've used the Chameleon 17-foot whip. There's also the MFJ 17-foot whip as well. All right, enough of the details. Let's get this thing on the air, and I'll show you some contacts I made when I took it out here in the patio. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey. Kilo 7? Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey. Kilo 7 Sugar Whiskey. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Valeri. It's uh, you are five nine plus here into Utah. Thanks for the contact in seven three. Hey, 
W6LG from K7 Sierra Whiskey. Yeah, I'm in Utah. I'm in uh, south of Salt Lake City. I'm just uh, in the backyard working on some battery power on a little uh, vertical that I uh, put up for uh, maybe some POTUS stuff. You're on a portable antenna? How come it's so strong? Over? I just put up a little 17-foot whip on a tripod with uh, four radials, right? And that seems to uh, do fantastic work. I appreciate that signal report. You're obviously 5'9 plus uh, on the peaks here, so uh, big signal out this way. Yeah. You start with something good and you get a good experience, then uh, benchmark for testing uh, makes it that much more fun. Agreed. I uh, absolutely agree with that. You know, I've talked to a lot of guys and they say, well, I can't put up an outside antenna and think, okay, uh, fly, how about a flagpole? How hard would it be to make something that looks like that but actually it's a 20 meter antenna? That kind of thing, to be creative. And, or, uh, you know, a stand in the backyard and some radios, four elevated radios. And if you put up a vertical, it, Make sure you click that like button down below, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. If you'd like to see more videos on portable operating, check this one out over here. 7-3, see you on the next one.